down the edge of the box. Jordan McAniff read that one brilliantly, took it off his toe. Uh, Ronan Boyce plays up the line. I don't think Branton Kavanagh was expecting that, but Shells just give possession straight back to Derry. Derry continue. Ronan Boyce breaks into the box. Well, he fancy a shot straight into the arms of Brenton Clark. I think he has to cut it back and, and go a bit square there, try and find McGonagall at the back post. So, lift it over. Again, Carr, very unfortunate, loses his footing. Uh, ball goes up into the middle. Dumagan heads it in there, and a bit of head tennis goes on. Patching comes onto it again. Tries to lift in the path to James Akintundi. Akintundi seems to handle it there, brings it down, tries to get around and put the shot away. Akintundi with the goal! Seem to be falling over. Shells will be absolutely furious. You can see Damien Duff. They are livid. They believe there was a handball in the build up to that move. But Akintundi spun, seemed to have fall o- fallen over Gareth, but just toe poked it past the surprise Brenton Clark, and the deadlock has been broken. Brilliant. He's, he's actually he's used the runner as a decoy. He's cut inside, and I thought the defender was going to get there and block it but he's slid and he's got there but I have to say do not underestimate the quality here from Will Patchy Boyd was sent down with very specific instructions there uh, he came on the second half I'll just break off here now Farrell comes forward he has Carr outside him but the ball holds up gets the ball away to Carr can Carr get the shot away puts it across the face of goal great opportunity from Shales what did you say Gareth we needed to see Shane Farrell and Darren Carr doing that in the final third and what happens well, Patching tries to spread the angle as Derry look to go forward. Branton Kavna has gone virtually silent in the last five minutes and again robbed far too easily there. Wonderful ball in from Shells. Chance for Farrell. Farrell goes across and the goal was coming and the equaliser came. And just like last week against Shamrock Rovers, Farrell absolutely deadly. Kavna gives it away too cheaply in the middle of the field, robs uh, the player. The ball comes in. Farrell is a confident player. He got the equaliser last week, two and two. We saw the danger signs a couple of moments ago. Lovely slide roll pull, takes the shot on early, goes across guard side, clips the bottom of the post, and the away side are level, Gareth. Yeah, I mean, you've got to give him credit. It's a great pass, and, and again, we talked earlier about Dan Carr's chance. The weight on the pass is incredible. It is perfect. Wasn't a huge surprise the visitors had started pushing. And they'd had that warning sign. We talked about it moments ago. But the Shells fans away there, left-hand side, making plenty of noise. Ball whipped in there. Players going down. 2-1 yeah. Derry City. Diving header goes in there. I think it's Cameron McJanet. No, the offside flag, or the flag has gone up. That one has been ruled out. The Shells fans celebrate against the Derry fans. But it was a bullet header. Danny Lafferty not too sure what's going on. We'll have to have a look at the replay there. The ball crashed into the uh, bottom of the goal. We'll have a look to see what happened. I think the linesman's uh, flagged up for someone standing on top of the keeper. In front of the keeper in an offside position. We'll see it here. McJanet does really well. Gets away from his marker. Yeah, uh, Jamie. Well, <laughs> I mean, the ball's past him. The, the, the keeper, if you watch there, the keeper's in line with Jamie, so it's not as if he's standing in front of him and obstructing his, his view. I don't understand how how that can be can be wiped out. I mean, the ball's going under the net. He hasn't touched it. The yellow card in that game as well, and he managed himself really well, so I don't expect anything different here today. We're going to see Sean Boyd coming on soon for Shells. Ball into the box, though, first. McJanet gets the header, beats the fellow 17, but it breaks out there to Rob McManus. McManus with the shot. McManus makes it 2-1 to the visitors. He saw the gap, let the shot fly, and 2-1 to Shelburne. The ball broke, McJanet got the header away, it broke out to McManus. You talked about it being impressive, Gareth, but a wonderful strike. Nathan Gertzide maybe does it, should he do better, should he get a hand for that? But that ball was absolutely moving, and what a turnaround for the visitors. Yeah, I don't think you can be too hard on the goalkeeper there. Um, I mean, you will watch it here now. McManus has caught it sweet. I mean, it's sitting there, and this is the, the, the problem. I mean, there's no defensive midfielder even putting a challenge in. Um, and you see here, he's got a free shot. that The defenders have tried to come out and close it down, but it's just gone through their legs, and it's right in the corner. I mean, you can't do anything about that. Thinks back on that right foot, tries to lift it square. Thompson, a bit of a stutter from him, comes on there. Dummigan gets the shot away, oh. nearly breaks. Clark breaks out there. What a double save by Clark, got down there. Absolutely fabulous, reacted brilliantly. Jamie McGonagall gambled that there would be a deflection. Ball breaks in there to Owen Toll. Toll thinks about the short one to Boyce, but then just lifts it long. I'm not sure that was the right decision. Matty Smith tries to get there. Look, Burn seemed to be all over the player. And then I think Dervin is going to go here because that was, uh, he was very unfortunate. He just clipped the player, but it was a second yellow. Uh, so Shells have had a player uh, coach sent off and now a player sent off. 
um, but Derry will have a free kick, they'll have a chance to put it into the box, and it's another yellow card for Sean Boyd. Shells look as if they could be ticking all three points, the ball goes long, Boyce gets up there with Boyd, it'll be a free kick to Derry, no it won't, the final whistle has blown, five minutes were signalled, only four and a half minutes were played of additional time, but there's somewhat of a stunned silence around the Brandale because the visitors have taken all three points, and in the second half, Gareth, they got their chances and they took their chances. But the final score here, Derry City 1, Shelburne 2.